So this is a fairly simple 3D printer with a solid doodle. I have added a broom arm to it. What it will do is that once the workpiece is finished, if it goes down all the way down to the z-axis, it will activate a broom which will sweep the piece off and free the work surface so that more can be made. This allows me to make a number of pieces in a series instead of using up the whole plate or just, you know, let it run overnight. The controller is extremely simple. It uses a uh, toy car motor, traveling nut, a piece of fiberglass that I happen to have around, and it's controlled by a six-axis microcontroller with a custom PCB that I have made. The entire thing costs tens of dollars. I am actually replacing the stuff that I have done so far with. 3D printed parts. You can see the switch holder has already been done. I'm actually printing another one here. The mechanism is extremely simple. It is powered by 12 volts and it does not talk to the printer otherwise. It just reacts to the switch. It's also really noisy. The reason for that is that that's a $2 motor. The entire build took approximately 48 hours from starting to do it to finishing doing it. The firmware is extremely simple and this method can be applied to most other 3D printers. Now one thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cushion the blow that you're about to see. So it's a bit of a guillotine action there and it needs to be cushioned. Now this movement that you see here is because we want to allow some tension to build in case the bed hasn't had time to cool yet. Note that if the z-axis moves for whatever reason, the broom will automatically just come back up and stay out of the way, so there's no risk of damaging the printer. Apparently by dropping off it seems to be more like flinging off, but, you know, I get there. The part got made and that's all that matters, you can see it over there. So this will finish its cycle in the limit switch and bring itself back into a rest position. That's a very simple control system. What it does for you is that it lets you not require a um, thread underneath, so you can use this with a solid doodle, you can use this, this with a mando, you can use this with any printer that doesn't have that kind of capability. And there we go, we can just make more. Again, the device is extremely simple. It's literally a traveling knot. You can see a... Um, this is just an end bolt with a, with a spring on it to make sure that it comes back up. And this is the controller. It's a thick XOA controller with a L294 motor driver. And this is the thing printing again. So this has been Spirit Plumber for Robots Everywhere. We're done here.